it looks like The Rock could be returning to WWE and he could do it as soon as Bad Blood. We're going to talk about it. There's reason to believe that The Rock will be in Atlanta for Bad Blood and that that might be the big thing that Cody Rhodes was teasing in that Pat McAfee show interview. We'll get into that. We're also going to get into a promo package that was played on SmackDown that kind of hints towards a major WWE debut and the latest about the story that everyone wants to know about, Shane McMahon to AEW. Is it happening? Is it true? Well, one person has their thoughts and their beliefs. We're going to get into all that. Be sure to smash that thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. We're standing up doing the video today because the chair broke. So let's dive right in and talk about this rock news. I was really, quite frankly, shocked when I heard that this broke, but it did. Here's what we know that The Rock, or here's what we know about The Rock's whereabouts going into bad blood. Sometimes one of the best paths to begin the healing journey is through smiles, laughter, and joy. I was blessed this past week to have the Appalachia High School football team come visit me at the production sound stages I've been filming at here in Atlanta, Georgia. As the world knows, Appalachia High School in Winder, Georgia has endured unimaginable tragedy of a mass shooting. I didn't know what to expect when I walked in to meet them. I was absolutely blown away by the spirit and energy. I looked these kids in their eyes and hugged them. I know they're in great pain, but man, are they resilient and staying strong. If this, it was as if, excuse me, they needed a reason, an opportunity to just let it all go in this moment. As we said goodbyes, the last kid I hugged said, we need this, we needed this rock. So did I. I can't wait to begin to imagine what these players and all students, teachers, and staff at Appalachia High, at Appalachia High are going through right now. But I'm here in any and every way I can be to give my support and love to them and their families as they begin their healing journey. God bless you all. We are one Appalachian PS. I'm in touch with Coach Hancock. And as promised, I'll be there for your first home game. So that was The Rock. Earlier, actually, in the year, he had said that he was going to be visiting them at their home game, and it looks like that has come to fruition, actually, as The Rock was set to appear at their game this weekend, or actually Friday night, as Sean Ross Sapp pointed out. The Rock will be at this high school game tonight in Georgia after a school shooting occurred last month. It's about 80 miles outside of Atlanta where the WWE PLE is tomorrow. That is Sean Ross Sapp, of course. First things first, shout out to those kids. Absolutely horrible tragedy that happened there. Mass shooting is just unspeakable uh, horror, as I said before. And no child, no one really should have to suffer because of it. And... I think that's something we all can agree on. But switching gears back to The Rock and Bad Blood, we know that on top of this, The Rock being in the Atlanta area, very close by the day before Bad Blood, that's going to cause a lot of speculation. But coming off the heels of Cody Rhodes saying that there was going to be things that happen at WWE Bad Blood that have implications not just for their next pay-per-view, WWE Crown Jewel Blood Money Mania, but also... WrestleMania 41, a lot of it points to The Rock returning. And this also comes at a time where we are likely going to see the bloodlines really start to be drawn figuratively here, uh, to use that pun, because I think we're going to see the bloodline civil war play out at War Games Survivor Series in Vancouver 
And quite frankly, at this point, I truly think that The Rock is going to play a part in it. I don't know if he'll be in the match. It would be really freaking cool if he was. But he will definitely play a part in it, I think, just given all of this. And look, you got The Rock there. You're charging like $500 or whatever for tickets for the lower bowl. You better give people their money's worth. Might as well bring in The Rock. So we'll see what happens there. But that's not the only WWE moment that could be happening at some point soon because the Motor City Machine Guns could be making their WWE debut as it was there was a promo package played on SmackDown tonight. It was very ambiguous, but a lot of hints towards people driving really fast, a lot of hints towards potentially people driving in the Motor City and it looks like in a bit of a development, you know, originally a lot of the reports had the Motor City Machine Guns coming in and doing work in NXT. That was the thinking. That was the thought. And ironically, another team in the Lucha Bros were set to go to the main roster. Or again, at least, that was the thought. Yet now here we are, and it seems like those plans may have changed based off of what we now have learned about Ray Phoenix and Penta still being with AEW. Ray Phoenix having Injury time, significant injury time, quite frankly, added to his AEW contract. That may have changed the plans here as it looks like the Motor City Machine Guns are set to go into the main roster. It looks like they're set to debut in SmackDown. And look, I've said this. That main roster needs the Motor City Machine Guns more than NXT does. I understand why. They wanted them originally to go to NXT, one of the more experienced tag teams of any generation, one of the most decorated tag teams of all time, coming in and working with your young guys. Totally get that from a development standpoint, but from a pure entertainment standpoint, I want to see the Motor City Machine Guns wrestle the best the WWE's got. And this is a part, or this is at least a way the WWE can help rejuvenate and re-energize their tag team division that quite frankly has not been good as of late and that's no hating on the bloodline or anything like that but it, it just feels like ever since mania those belts have been treated as not even second third fiddle but like kind of like court jester levels of of, of comedy you had r-truth and the miz as the champions and as much as i love grayson waller and austin theory as a tag team they were not serious the entire time they were running with the belts. I think these guys in your tag team division takes it to a whole nother level and makes it a more serious division right off the bat. So we'll see. Maybe they debut bad blood. Maybe they don't. But do I have a bad blood deal for you? Because if you're like me and you're going to Atlanta and you still haven't bought your tickets because gosh darn it, they're expensive. I got the solution for you. Go to our partners over at SeatGeek, use the link in the description of this video, and you can get $20 off your first purchase. $20 off your first purchase of tickets, whether you're going to Bad Blood, whether you're going to Wrestle Dream, whether you're going to Raw, SmackDown, NXT, Dynamite, Collision, whatever the hell, Shockwave in January, you can get $20 off your first purchase using the code REALTAKE. All you got to do is download the app. Using the link in the description, use the promo code REALTAKE. That's it. You get $20 on me. Giving money away here, kind of. <laughs> here on Real Take Wrestling, guys. Promo code REALTAKE from SeatGeek gets you $20 off. Fantastic deal here for y'all. Be sure to take advantage of it while you still can. As we take advantage of our next and final topic of the day, Let's talk about Shane O. Mac. Do a little Shane O. Shuffle here as we're standing. Again, I don't like standing, but we're going to get back to it. We're going to back, get back to sitting as soon as I get a new chair in here. But let's talk about Shane McMahon. So one of the big questions coming out of Dynamite five-year anniversary was, is Shane McMahon the guy running the strings or pulling the strings, I should say, behind John Moxley and the BCC? It was hinted that someone was out there and, and kind of leading Moxley to this. Excalibur hinted to it on commentary. Moxley hinted to it in his promo. There's been a lot of talk, a lot of speculation, a lot of rumor and innuendo about Shane. 
And we have a bit of clarity, question mark, uh, courtesy of Wrestling Observer's Dave Meltzer in the newsletter this week, saying that as of right now, Shane McMahon as the leader or as being involved in this Blackpool Combat Club story is not the plan. And I believe that Dave used a specific uh, set of verbiage here that currently not believed, Shane McMahon is currently not believed to be joining uh, with, a with AEW backstage sources saying that is not the quote destination. Okay, it may not be the destination, but it should be. We'll get into that in just a second. But uh, initial reaction to this is, you know, I I'm, I'm kind of like half surprised, but I'm also like a little bit uh, skeptical. Not that I'm trying to poo-poo Dave's reporting. He has way more sources than I do, quite frankly. I have none. But at the end of the day, you know, I, I think pro wrestling is one of those things where you're going to hear things from sources. You're going to hear things from all around. And... You know, it, until you kind of, until we get closer to the moment, like, that's when things really change. And AEW is a company where, you know, the, things have changed on a dime, right? Like, people coming in, people getting injured, debuts, all those things, they kind of happened, like, just off of, uh, uh, off of, not a whim, but, like, this kind of happened. And, like... I could very well see a world still where Shane McMahon is the guy behind this, even if he's not signed right now, even if he, he hasn't agreed to anything right now. Because I think we all just see it. Like, there's money in this. There's interest in this. There's buzz in this. And there's an impact to be made. And one thing we know about Shane McMahon is that he's someone who, throughout his entire career, has made a name, not just off of obviously being a McMahon, but in the ring off of making an impact. And I think that you would think that there would be a part of Shane, at least where given all the buzz, given all the hoopla, given the, the amount of pictures he's been taking with people at airports, which is wild, that there's a part of him that sees it too. That's why I'm not giving up hope. This is, of course, one report. These things can change. People can get worked. I'm just going to say it like shout out to Dave. I love Dave, but people can get worked. We don't know. But as of right now, I'm sticking with my guns here. I still think that this will be Shane. And my biggest reason for doing that is Tony Khan at this point knows that people are starting to expect Shane. So until we hear from him that, hey, Shane is not all elite. Shane is not part of this company. Until we hear, he denies it, like essentially, because he's done this in the past. Where he knows, where if he knows he can't promise on something, he will flat out say that is not happening. Don't expect that. All that kind of stuff. And if he's kind of ambiguous about it, or if he's kind of got that smile on his face, you know that something's happening. So, like, I would just listen to what Tony says in the next coming weeks. That 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 will be very telling about this. But if he keeps teasing it, and if they keep teasing like someone running, running things behind the scenes, unless you have another massive name. Like, I don't even know who it would be. If it was like, I don't know, Becky Lynch? That'd be crazy. That'd be wild. But, but like, you would have to have something, someone insane. Someone insane for, for people to, to, to get off the Shane stuff. Maybe Kevin Owens in 2025 if you want to, uh, you know, push this out that far. But I don't know. We will see, though, guys. Let me know in the comments section what you guys think. What do you guys think? Will The Rock return to WWE at Bad Blood? Will he return later? Is Shane McMahon still headed to AEW in your opinion? Also, what do you think about the Motor City Machine Guns? I want to hear from you in the comments section. Also, be sure to smash that thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. Until next time, guys, be happy, be healthy, and as always, keep it real.